All right, guys, when we owned Chunkinology, we had a set of air horns on there that we would blow before we launched the pumpkins. The new owner decided to go out and purchase a brand new or a used set of Nathan's M4 horns from a train. So in return, when he returned to Delaware for 2016 pumpkin chunking, he gave me a few items from the machine and one of the items was our old horns. Uh, so what I did was I drilled a hole, tapped that hole, cleaned off an area, and then we put the welder to work and we manufactured a bracket, just a piece of plate steel, piece of box tubing, drilled a hole, drilled two holes, and uh, adapted this hole to fit that hole with a bolt. Those are gonna bolt on there like that. That's gonna go to the wall with some drywall screws. And we are gonna put our horns on display up here on the wall. And I'll call this the discovery wall. Got a couple of things up here, my old hard hat, some old IDs and a letter from the Science Channel thanking us for our help with uh, the Road to Pumpkin Chunkin and a few other things that we did for them. So my horns are gonna go right up there and I will show you what that's gonna look like in just a minute. You guys, so that's what the bracket looks like on the wall and in just one minute, I'll show you what it looks like with the horn on there. And there you have it, finished product. Horn mounted on the homemade bracket hanging on the wall. In the last video, Extreme Flashlight, um, I had a gentleman by the name of Alf Brogan. He made a comment on a video. He said, nice video, but the welding is gonna hurt the dog's eyes. So I took that into consideration and I gotta apologize to all the dog lovers out there. I never thought of that because the dog usually went in his dog box or uh, you know, if we do any grinding or anything like that, he usually goes in his dog box. So I never really gave it any thought, but I am gonna take care of it from here on. And the way we did that is... All right guys, so now that you've seen it mounted on the wall, let's go ahead and show you what this thing does. So I hooked it up so we can even blow it. And just in case you were worried about me blowing the horn inside the garage, I just want to let you know that the dog was... You know, he was protected. Special thanks to Alf Brogan for the comment. I never gave that a thought to protecting a dog's eyes or ears. Uh, and we do do a lot of work out here in the Redneck Manufacturing Shop, so I will take that into consideration in future videos for any dog lovers out there. I love my dog just as much as everybody else loves theirs, and uh, I sure do appreciate that comment because never really gave that a thought. So, Alf Brogan, thank you for the comment. Shake. Sit. Stay down okay stay 